Every day, one in three Cincinnatians wake up in poverty and face challenges that may overshadow their family's hope for a better future. That's over 80,000 of our neighbors. Children who grow up in poverty are 32 times more likely to remain in poverty their entire adult lives. This is a generational challenge. As we get ready for the day, we are reminded that we have an opportunity, an opportunity to make a difference, an opportunity to make a change. Our doors are open to our neighbors who are in need of a better path to a brighter future. Every neighbor has a personal story of struggle and success. We are humble to share just a few of these stories. We'd like to introduce you to Dustin, Alicia, Deasia, and Angela. From graduating from high school, I would say that I kind of had a big ego. I thought that um, I was unstoppable, and I never thought I would have kids. I always thought that, you know, I was just gonna go into business. And then life changed, I had Vivian. Me and Viv's mom broke up three days before birth. Uh, she would not let me see her. The first time I held Vivian in my arms was, she was six months old. Holding her was like, it was amazing. It was like nothing else, it was just, it was like love, I don't know. Yeah. Vivian's mother, she wanted something different out of life, or she more or less abandoned our daughter. It made it very difficult to raise Vivian with her constantly asking questions, where's mom? I'd taken her to the emergency room. I was told that I needed to file for emergency custody. I ended up with full custody. And so now it's just working through trying to heal Vivian's trauma. On top of that, trying to find a job or a career that can fit into our life and our schedule. So what led me to CityLink was my water bill was due and I was told to reach out to St. Vincent de Paul and they referred me into the Cincinnati Works program at CityLink Center. I had the opportunity to work with Dustin as his service coordinator and what I saw in him was a determination to make sure that he succeeded. When I was doing jo job search, I was coming into CityLink every single day. I didn't have internet access at home. You know, it was great to be able to utilize the daycare services here on site and to be able to search for a job. I'd applied for a position at Jack Casino and I went and did an interview. So I was offered the job at Jack Casino, um, working as a cage cashier in the finance department. One of the goals that Dustin um, shared with me in one of our follow-ups was the importance of his faith. And because we have spiritual growth here at the center, I was able to connect him with Pastor Strayhorn, our on staff spiritual growth director. I needed for myself uh, for a long time to belong to a church. So I have been going to New City Presbyterian Church from the recommendation of Pastor Strayhorn for a while now. It's been excellent. Every week Vivian asks me, like almost on a daily basis, Dad, is it Sunday yet? Can we go to Sunday school? By having God back in my life, what it really helps me with is to fall back on God's grand plan and to realize that God has purpose for everything. Life has kind of taken me down a road that I didn't expect, but it's been completely for the better. I never thought that I would find myself asking for help, coming to City Link, um, having a child, Vivian. She's changed my life in ways that make everything worth it for what my dreams were to what they are now. And through coming to CityLink, finding the right community and the right church, it's given me that self-esteem to be able to believe that I can do anything I want to do and to push me to have that goal of doing it for my daughter. When I was around almost two, I was adopted by my grandmother. My mom was um, on drugs and um, doing prostitution. 
and so it just wasn't a good you know environment for our kids and so we just didn't see eye to eye and I ended up moving out like I left I ran away now I had gotten pregnant so I graduated high school and I jumped right into college and went for my uh, LPN license to become a nurse and I felt like once I became a nurse I, I'll be okay, my son will be okay, I'll be able to be self-sufficient. And, and I ultimately became a traveling nurse, but I was a traveling nurse with no car. So, you know, how far could I travel or how well could I get to those jobs if I missed the bus? You know, I could lose my job. And now I'm catching cabs and my money's running low because I'm catching a cab to take my son to school. Then I'm catching a cab to go all the way downtown to the Justice Center to work. And then I'm not telling anybody because I'm embarrassed. I went to a program called Family Self-Sufficiency Program and I met a lady named Alicia Swanson. And she's just like, well, have you ever heard of CityLink? And that's how I got connected to CityLink. Walking through the door, honestly, everybody was all smiles. Everybody was ready to help. I mean, I signed up for everything I could possibly sign up for. It, it was just amazing. Like I met with my service coordinator, Brittany, who is still my service coordinator, and she is just the best. And she made me an itinerary or uh, just basically like a to-do list. You're gonna do this on this date, this on this date, this on this date. She introduced me to Smart Money. So uh, Smart Money, basically taught me how to budget. And then I met Michelle, um, who, uh, <laughs> she really whipped me into shape, you know? <laughs> she like, she'll really, she like go over your budget and your spending with a fine tooth comb. I went through the changing gears classes and then ultimately you have to save a certain amount for a car. And I saved up before I even knew what the car looked like. I'm like, okay, I saved this goal and I saw the car that I wanted. <laughs> and there's this little cute red Honda with a sunroof. It just was nice and it was, it looked like it should be my car. <laughs> so <laughs> we will be working on another car, but I'll still go over and rub. I call, I already named it, it was, I call her Ruby. <laughs> so I would go rub the car and go look at it like, did anybody pick this out yet? And they like, no, nah, not yet, you know. And then it was the day before my birthday and I got my car and I work even even more now that I have a car, but it's good because I'm able to provide. I can pick up those shifts in Madeira, or I could go grocery shopping without waiting for someone. You know, I could go to my son's place, and I would say CityLink had a major role in my transition because even more so than getting Ruby, my, my lovely car, it was the people I met. The people here are just so genuine and everything's a celebration here. Any little thing you do towards your goal or being a better person or a better for your family, they, I mean, you guys are like, ah, like, look at you. <laughs> and it makes you feel good. And it makes you feel good. And I feel good about it. And I still look at those pictures and those memories and it's like, Wow, like all this in one building. I got glasses here that I'm not wearing today, but you know, I didn't even know I was losing my sight. And I came and saw you guys' doctor. I didn't have health insurance when I came here. And you guys were like, oh, go right upstairs. You can get your teeth clean. I had cavities about the form. Didn't even know. And I'm a nurse and I didn't even know. Looking back, it's like, wow, like, look at God. That's I, that's something I always say. Like, I couldn't have done what I've done so far by myself. And, Right now, I'm at UC, and that was my goal, to be at UC. And I only have two more semesters to go before I become official RN. And ultimately, I want to be a nurse practitioner, and I want to open my own clinic. To me, I'm just scratching the surface. I am the oldest of five children. I was raised by a single parent, my mother. In 11th grade, I became pregnant. My mom is a single parent, and now I'm a single parent, and I didn't want that for myself. I, I still don't know how I did it, but I was able to get through all the projects, and I graduated on time. Life goes on, and you just you accept the, the mistakes you've made. And now I have a beautiful son from all of it. I looked for a few jobs from there, but I was basically laughed at in my face. I didn't have the interview skills. I didn't have the, uh, a great resume. I didn't know how to put one together. Uh, my mom told me about Cincinnati Works. Cincinnati Works job readiness program. 
that helped me find a job at United Dairy Farmers. Well, after almost a year at UDF, I went back to C-Link, took the Briscoe software testing course. It was an eight-week course, five days a week. Uh, I went there while also working on the weekends. They taught me about the software development life cycle, what it means for an application to be designed, developed. I had an amazing teacher who was always there for a student. My classmates were a great support system. We all had things in our past that we didn't want us to stop us from moving forward. When I graduated from preschools, it was exciting. My family was there to help cheer me on. Thrive Impact Sourcing did interviews with my preschoolers class, which turned into a job offer. I've been there for two years, eight months. Thrive is a consulting company, and my current client is Crossroads Church. They have a website that I've uh, helped test a lot of different tools to help individuals connect with God. And if I hadn't found CityLink, I know for a fact that I would have followed the path that my mother is following, which is working odd jobs, going from one job to the next, which just, just seems like living to work. I was making around, I believe, 18000 a year, and now I'm making a little over 39000 which is a great improvement. I'm able to do more with my son. I'm able to pay for medical expenses that he needs. Looking back, when I graduated, just five years later, if someone would have told me I would have accomplished so much, I wouldn't have believed them. I'm very lucky to have found CityLink. I have an awesome job uh, working in the IT field, which I've always dreamed about being in. I have a car. I, I have my own apartment. It just feels like anything's possible. I was 16, um, I actually got with a boy, fell in love, and I had my daughter when I was 20, then my son when I was 23. We wasn't living exactly right. He got charged and he was sent to federal prison for five years. And now I ha I'm in a house with these two kids. All the bills are due and I'm like, I just lost control of everything. That's where my addiction picked up, and um, I did start getting into trouble because of it. When I actually did get arrested and everything for the crimes that I committed, um, I went in front of the judge by myself because at that point, my family was done. And she gave me three years. When I was released from prison, I went to Pathways in Cincinnati, and I did my last six months there, actually. Me and two other girls were down at St. Vincent's trying to get bus passes. The lady down there actually told us to try City Link, so we walked down here, and Mary Ann was actually the first person we met. She came from behind the desk and asked what our needs were, and we told her. We're at a halfway house. We need bus passes, we need work. She was pretty amazing, actually. I have been serving at CityLink Center for five and a half years in the role of hospitality, which is the Welcome Center. When I first met Angela, I could sense that she was nervous, she was overwhelmed, she was starting from square one. And as we had a conversation about CityLink Center, she became more relaxed. I also sensed a very determined, focused person that was going to do whatever it took to get her life back in order and moving forward. So having Monica as a guide has been so helpful to me. All I did was speak my, need, my needs to her and she just listened to me took in a little bit of uh, my background because of my felonies and stuff, and she's like, okay, we're placing you at CEO. Center for Employment Opportunities, or CEO, provides clients like Angela who are coming home from incarceration with transitional employment that allows them to be paid daily. More importantly, they help clients find permanent employment. One of CEO's employment partners is JBM Envelope. 
It's been a fantastic place for Angela to land. She's currently been able to work there full time and it's been beneficial to moving her forward in her life. They have a life coach there at JBM, so I was just really stoked to work there. After I did get my job at JBM, um, I came back to Monica. I was like, well, what's next? And she's like, well, we have smart money. Michelle taught me, you know, how to budget my money, which I never did. I've been paying off my credit. I have saved over $3,000. I don't even know what even to do with it. And every goal that I complete just gives me more confidence, more momentum to complete the next one. I spoke with Monica. I said, okay, what's next? And she's like, we're gonna go ahead and sign you up for your classes for changing gears. You actually are hands-on, you know, changing oils, changing tires, learning about basic stuff like that, that you should probably know as a, a vehicle owner. Katie calls me and it's like, I have a car for you to come see. I have my own car. <laughs> Just getting them keys in my hand, knowing that that's mine and I worked for it, is another one of just another one of my goals completed. Especially my daughter being there to see it. I know she's so proud of me. Sometimes she just don't want to say it. I know she goes around and tells everybody else about her mom. So that's amazing. And just for her to count on me now, I would just never, ever give this back. <laughs> I'm never going back from this point, only forward. Just recently, I started my second job at a rehab. This um, job is definitely important to me because I've been where they are and I want to be that person that lets them see that the change can happen and you can like live your life to the fullest. You don't have to do drugs or commit crimes. I have a dream of being a homeowner because I want to provide a foundation for my children. So my next move is to work with Michelle on Habitat for my own house. I know God has been there. And even though I got a little bit off track for a while, it's still there. I want my kids to know that they can do anything and that I'm gonna be there for them. It's been less than a year since I walked through the doors at CityLink and I have employment. I have my own vehicle now. I have savings, I know how to budget my money, and I have more goals that I'm working towards. This is just the beginning. It's only been a year. Just imagine what 10 years is gonna look like. Our beautiful city is thriving like never before, and there's good news happening all around us. Tomorrow is a new day and every morning represents renewed opportunity. An opportunity to alter the pattern of generational poverty. An opportunity to see hope spring to life in the lives of thousands of our neighbors. We invite you to join us as we roll up our sleeves, put our faith in motion, and work together to more broadly and profoundly transform lives and our community. We've all been on the receiving end of radical generosity and to be able to be generous to our neighbors is it's our purpose in life.